What is up everyone? In this video, we are gonna talk about how to build Chi Chi. This is gonna be a guide on how to build her. And I'll be showing you some comparison to show you which stat is better for her. And we can kind of explain about what is her role. So in a lower level world, people can say anything can be really good. So I was convinced that Chi Chi could also be a DPS while she can heal a lot. She can do some DPS because the amount of healing she does depends on the amount of attack you have. It may be different because of your playstyle, but when I play, I believe that Chi Chi is a very good healer. Right now, I have her at max constellation, but we are just gonna ignore those bonus from the constellation. This is not that great for her. So it says, when her Q mark is on the enemy and her E hits the enemy, she gets the two energy. I didn't really see a lot of the effect from this. And second one says, her normal attack and charge attack damage against enemies affected by cryo is increased by 15%. I mean, if you're expecting a lot of damage from Chi Chi, then yes, this could be a bonus, but not by a lot, it's 15%. Next one is targets mocked by the fortune preserving talisman have their attack decreased by 20%. There's a better chance for you to survive because you're going to be basically taking less damage. So here's a C6. This is a very good in my opinion. Constellation to have, but not necessary. But if you use Q, then she revives all nearby fallen characters and regenerates 50% of their HP. And this only happens once in every 15 minutes, alright? So we're just going to ignore all these, okay? And we can do that probably because I did not level up her e and q a lot okay and this is the artifact that i'm using i am using maiden beloved set and this helps her do a lot of healing for the allies notice how her healing depends on the amount of attack you have so that's why at least i tried to give her a lot of attack from her artifacts so from the flower i have 16 percent attack and crit rate crit damage will help her do more damage but i'm not expecting a lot from her Feather has 5.8% attack, 10% crit rate. Again, this is a failed artifact that I have, but at least it gives you attack, right? This one, Sense of Eon. It is the best if you have the one with the attack main stats. I tried to give her more attack, but I mean, I've got crit rate, energy recharge. I couldn't find any other good substance to use, so I was like, hey, why don't I just give her like crit rate and crit damage if I can? So there's that. This one is Goblet, and I also gave her attack percentage main. It has crit damage 11%, crit rate 7.4%, energy recharge 9.7%, elemental mastery 44 But if she's not gonna be your main DPS, elemental mastery doesn't really matter. So it's better if you can find maybe another stats that can help her survive or, you know, help her do more healing. And this is our circlet. This is gonna be the point of this video. This is going to help you understand which main stats you should go for. Healing bonus or attack percentage. So what we are going to compare is the difference in healing when I use attack percentage. This is plus 20. Or this one, healing bonus 35.9%. And then for her weapon, I am using the flute. And I believe this is one of the best weapon for you to use on Chi Chi. And there is another weapon you could use instead of flute. You could also use Sacrificial Sword. If you refine this to rank 5, it says the skill has an 80% chance to end its own CD. However, even if this is just a single piece with refinement rank 1, it's 40%. And because her E rotates around and keeps on hitting the enemy, there's a very very good chance that your E skill is gonna get reset, okay? And this happens once every 16 seconds, and her cooldown is 30 seconds, the skill duration is 15 seconds, so if you use this sword, you're gonna keep on using that E if you time it right, okay? So what we're going to do now is compare the healing amount with her E. And Diluc is a very good character. And I know that you guys love Diluc. But if I do not use Diluc for a healing comparison, some other character needs to die. And Diluc is a man. He's willing to take this damage for the other female characters. What? So, to prevent other heroes to get killed, I'm gonna be using D Luke and see how much healing Chi Chi does with her E. Alright? So, here we go. Here comes the gentleman. Uh, you know, it's not very stylish for you to die by just falling, so why don't I just do a plunge attack? That's gonna be better, right? Activation code denied. Let me try that again.
he doesn't die that well. So why don't I just start like this? We're gonna start with attack percentage, okay? So... Chi Chi has 21, almost 2200 attack. Let's see how much healing she does to D Luke. There's E. Alright, that's a 4.1k healing. Okay, let me do that again with a healing percentage bonus, okay? It was attack percentage, now it's healing bonus. We do that thing again. Okay. Now Chi Chi's gonna use E. How much would it heal? Alright, from 4.1k to 4.7k, that's uh, about, give it or take, 15% more. Okay, cool. So we do know now that by giving her healing percentage bonus, she does better healing than giving her uh, attack percentage from the circlet. So 15% extra healing by E. How much would other characters heal by attacking the enemy with Chi Chi's Q mark? Alright guys, we are gonna compare Chi Chi's Q mark healing amount between the attack percentage on the circlet to a healing bonus percentage circlet, okay? So, first, I have my attack percentage on Chi Chi. I'm gonna go ahead and take some damage with my D-Luke. About this high. Okay, there you go. Chi Chi is gonna put the Q mark, and then there is the healing. 4.5 or 4.6k healing. We are gonna go ahead and switch that attack percentage circlet to a healing percentage so that we can see the healing amount difference, okay? So from 21, 170 attack to a 19, 28 attack. You guys ready to see the difference? Okay. There is a 5.4k healing. Okay, so the healing difference that we have seen for the Q was about 15%. By the numbers, it was 800 almost. And if you think this amount is important, if that's the case, then it is better for you to give Chi Chi a healing amount. But if you want that extra damage that Chi Chi does, then you would give her attack percentage. So the reason why I kind of did this experiment is because as an F2P or even as a whale, there's not much of a chance for you to get the right main stats that you desire. So I'm just trying to say that it is totally okay for you to go for either attack percentage or healing amount when it comes to healing amount. But what I'm gonna do after is that I'm going to see if Chi Chi can be really used as a DPS by using attack percentage artifact, okay? Because a lot of people have been telling me that Chi Chi is their main DPS. And what we're going to do is I'm going to take her to one of the domains. I can pretty much say that she has a pretty good stats, even as a maybe a sub DPS. So why don't we take her to a place where we can farm for Bloodstained and Noblesse Sit. Because in here, only the character that has Geo Element gets the bonus damage. So it would be fair for me to compare the damage between maybe some main DPS that we can use. Let's go. So the point I'm trying to prove here is that it is not that efficient for you to go for a full DPS Chi Chi and we expect a little bit of healing from her because as your level goes up and the world level goes up along with the Sparrow Abyss, you'll need a great healer, not a hero that does a little bit of this, a little bit of that. It would be only fair for me to show you the stats of those DPS I'm gonna be using to compare Chi Chi, okay? Now she has 1600 attack with a 58% crit chance with not so much of a crit damage, 62%, okay? And here's my D-Luke. D-Luke has 2400 attack, he has 89 elemental mastery, 82% crit rate, 105% crit damage, and 61% pyro damage bonus. Chi Chi stats. So I gave her the attack percentage. Now, she has 2100 attack, 46% crit rate, 82% crit damage. Not so bad, right? You can call this a uh, sub DPS, right? If you wish. We can take a look at her damage. So you're seeing some moderate damage here, okay? Well, let me take a look at this. Okay, nothing near those main DPS here. I'm not trying to say that Chi Chi is a bad character, okay? She's good. She's really good. But I think I prefer to use her as a full healer, kind of, than... Just a random, you know, character that is not good at everything. Look at 
the amount of healing that these characters get. That's so much. That's so much. Hopefully, I made a point in this video. Later on, when you have to face a stronger monsters in a domain, or maybe like a wolf, right? You would need to utilize Elemental Burst to maximize your damage. So I believe Chi Chi belongs more up to the healer section than anywhere near DPS, okay? So although I was looking for a nice set to even try to build her as a sub DPS with crit chance and crit damage, like this was so crazy. I was farming for a really decent set and then I kept on getting beloved set. So I was like, why don't I, you know, come up with a very good made beloved set so that I can kind of showcase to the people and kind of define where you need to use this unit for. Guys, there are a lot of good alternatives that can do a DPS. So can we just put Chi Chi in a place where you would only use her to heal? Like she's amazing. You give her a lot of attacks. She doesn't need to do a lot of crit damage or crit chance, okay? All you need to do is just give her a lot of attack and by giving her the flute, she's gonna be doing some nice surprising damage like 2k, 3k. Also, you could be giving her a sacrificial sword so that her E resets and she's gonna be healing everyone when you're about to die. So, thank you very much for watching this long video. And let me repeat this again. There is no right way to play this game, okay? So, I would think that there is no right way to build a character as well. But, as I pushed myself to a higher AR level, and with my boomer hand, I think it is much better for you to use Chi Chi as a healer exclusively. If you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Adiós.